Are you guys excited to do the zombie run? Yes. Yes? You got your it's numbers? around here. Yeah, because there's horses and stuff around here. It's pretty cool, though. And those graves. Yeah, the graves. Chloe, are you excited? Is there a zombie in there? You ready to run from zombies? Is there a zombie in there? I don't know where they are. I think they're hiding and they're going to come get you. Are they going to get you? I think, yeah, they're going to get you. Okay, Chloe's going to get eaten first. Why? She's ready for those zombies. Just walk by them. <laughs> King's in. Was that scary? No, it's not. No, then why'd you run? Well, ah! right, halfway through the zombie run, and Chloe doesn't want to walk anymore. So I'm carrying her. Mama. I wore the wrong shoes, guys. Look at this. Mama. I have sandals on because I forgot to pack sneakers because we're Mama. staying in the hotel. Mama. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. You want to get down and walk? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh. Give me a break. So since we're staying in the hotel, I totally forgot to pack sneakers. And so I had to do this. And the first part of it is just dirt, dusty dirt. And it's a dirt road for most of the walk. So yeah, my feet are black because of course I forgot to pack sneakers. But the kids have sneakers. So that's all that really matters. <sighs> There weren't that many zombies on this run, but the couple that there were, it was pretty funny seeing the kids get like freaked out. Hey, Chloe. Are you a zombie? No. Are you a survivor? No. What are you? <coughs> no. It's dusty, huh? I feel like I swallowed <laughs> Look, a whole bunch of dust. Oh, what'd you just throw on me? Hey, come on, baby, let's go. We're almost okay. done. Look, there's the finish. We made it. And you guys only complained half the time instead of the whole time. Alright guys, so more drama. The RV is not fixed yet, so we are having to move rooms to a smaller room. So I am having to move all of our stuff which is gonna take me like 10 trips. I'm on trip three. And the room we're leaving, the key will not work. So now I'm locked out, waiting for maintenance which, to come let us in our room so we can keep moving. This is like, this is frustrating. Because it was working the other two times I came in and out, but all of a sudden it doesn't want to work anymore. Hey guys, I still have my zombie run shirt on. Because as soon as we got done with this, I had to start moving things from um, our big room to this smaller room. Because of course the repairs aren't done on the RV. And of course they're closed on the weekend. So we really don't know how far along they, they are because they didn't talk to us on Friday. So we're stuck here a couple more days, but our reservation ran out at the big one because, you know, somebody booked it for today. So I've been back and forth like 10 times trying to move all of our stuff. And you know, we have a lot of stuff. That took, that seriously took me alone a couple hours. That wasn't fun. Um, so Chloe's, Chloe's taking a bath right now. Chloe, 
Hey, girl. Hi. All right, she's ignoring me. Here is the bathroom. I know, way, way, way smaller. And we only have one closet. And then pretty much the beds go into the um, eating area, kitchen, and watch TV. So, like, no, no couch living room area. And this is the tiny little kitchen. But I'm making it all fit and work. And still not done for the day. This is like the longest day ever. I have to go. I have to go and see Marcus. He couldn't help me today because he was already committed to doing a show, this really big um, show selling the candles, this wine festival. So he's doing that. He's been doing that all day while I've had the kids all day with the zombie run and then moving. And we're going to get it together and um, go see him and see how it's going. You want to hear some bullshit? There is no power. We woke up with no electricity. Um, I like looked on my phone, you know, what the heck's going on. And apparently some high tension wire tower, that's what they called it, at a, a power plant uh, fell and explode. A bunch of transformers exploded. Basically some bullshit happened at the power plant and now there's no electricity for miles and it said like 55,000 people are affected so and there's no answer as to when it's all going to be restored it's kind of being restored in like sections um but we we still don't have power and it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and we have a farmer's market to do and I have to make candles and products and so like that's got to get done and if it can't get done then we can't do the show we can't make money I don't know it's frustrating so I've been here all day without power. Marcus took the kids to an event, but he'll be home real soon. And then, like, I don't know what he wants to do. This sucks. It's, I can't tell you, I can't remember the last time I was without power. It's probably, like, way back when, in North Carolina, when we had, like, a hurricane. <sighs> Poor baby's sick. Feeding, laying here for a couple hours. Still no power. And Marcus took the boys to go do something because he cannot sit in a room with these two crazy boys and be sane. They have to be out doing something. So me and Chloe are just chilling here. I should be making candles, but I have no electricity still. We are finally coming back home to the RV park. There's Marcus trying to get this thing in our spot. Uh, I think it's a log. Yeah, it's, that's... it's gonna take a, uh, a minute to do this because it's very tight. But, so guys, there has been so much drama going on. Let me tell you, the manufacturer of the RV, they didn't put it together properly. Our electrical, was not working in the kitchen except for one socket they left the connecting um the connecting line i guess is what you call it just hanging in the wall and never connected it to give electricity to the sockets in the kitchen which is i mean that's crazy right that's like a fire hazard you just can't leave an electrical wire hanging there and not connect it so that's the first thing that's wrong then if you see you've seen our other videos like the bathroom shower door they had to fix that but instead of just fixing the mechanism of course they had to replace the whole darn thing and order and have glass shipped in well the company sent the wrong glass so we've had to pay out of pocket at the hotel we're staying at for almost a week 
Um, gosh, what else? Oh, in the midst of this, my car, if you see, I'm like in a, a different car. I'm in a brand new Explorer. And my car started throwing up these cra this crazy symbol and the acceleration wasn't working. So I had to take it into the dealership. Oh, and I lost my wedding band in the car as well. It fell like in the cup holder. And so they had to take apart that part of the car and get my ring out, which they did. But, uh, there goes Marcus. He's having to just go forward and go back. It is such a nightmare to park this ridiculously long RV. I recommend if you're going to RV in California, in Northern California, and stay at, man, don't get a big RV and live in California if you're going to stay at an RV park because space is limited in California. Guys, you see how tight that is? That is, ins oh my goodness. In the bushes we go. Better Marcus than me. I definitely couldn't be doing that. I, sh I need to learn, right? I should learn. But, oh man. That's tough. Oh my gosh, guys. I couldn't record this because like they would see me but the neighbors my neighbors totally just got into it like the one had to move his car and was like peeling out and going forward to go to move like 10 feet oh my gosh he's cursing out Carol and call her up this and then up that oh my gosh I gotta talk to her later see if she's okay Oh man, drama.